Good morning, my neighbours! Ladies and gents, it's Monday and it is a gorgeous summer's day here in the UK. It's time for an alternative paper review. First up to the Daily Express this morning, who run with exposed junior doctor's plot to cripple the NHS again. This is the story that, um, well, it's, it's absolute rubbish is what it is. Basically, the nuts and bolts, the crux of this story is that junior doctors are saying, look, we will take the recent 20 or 22% pay rise, wasn't it? We will interpret that as the baseline from which we will negotiate future pay rises. So that's where we're at now. And that makes up for the times that they weren't given pay rises before. It brings them up to what we can broadly interpret as kind of backdated, compensatory. Like you get the idea, right? They've had this big pay rise and now they're interpreting that as the baseline. Now, what they're saying is, if you don't make good, on the pledges that you said when you said yes and then annually we will review it and if you don't stick to the deal that we agreed to and our part of it was that we wouldn't do any more industrial action if you don't stick to that then yeah we do reserve the right to withhold our labor once again but this being the daily express they're trying to contort that narrative they're trying to misrepresent it they're trying to make it look like the junior doctors are like oh my god <laughs> oh look i've just had a massive pay rise and I, I got that through withholding my lap. Do you know what? We should do that again. A plot. Uh, it's always a plot, isn't it, guys? A plot by junior doctors to strike again, despite already banking bumper pay rises. Then they got a quote in there from Pretty Patel where she's like, oh, it's only taken Labour a few weeks. This, this horrible socialist Labour government. It's only taken them a few weeks to show their true colours. Which... I always think it's pretty funny when people say this sort of stuff because, yes, it has only taken Labour a few weeks to show their true colours. Keir Starmer's administration has only been in power a few weeks. But if you look at the shit at face value, <laughs> what are those true colours that we're actually seeing that they're showing to us? Yeah, they've only just got in a few weeks ago and they've already ended the junior doctor's strike. Trying to demonise junior doctors and the NHS to the readership of the Express, who are probably the most likely to be admitted into a hospital in the next week or two. Oh, bloody hate being seen within five hours. Bloody communists! Over to the Daily Mail now, who pleads stop rioting in the name of our little girl. Now, I agree with this. I think, you know, don't go out rioting in the name of a little girl who died. You're obviously not doing it in the interests of that little girl or her family. Like when you're rioting, when you're spray painting racial slurs on the side of burning hotels, do it with your whole chest. Just scream the slogans and names of the things that you are doing it in the interest of, like the Daily Mail. Meanwhile, over at the Sun, Geo Probe in Chaos. Hang on a minute, what? what? I said Geo Probe in chaos. It's, it's a Strictly scandal. Are they still going on about this Strictly scandal? Really? Oh, absolutely, Aid. It is the most important, urgent story. It's a hell of a scoop. It has to be on the front page of the People's Paper every single day. Honestly, housing, a cost of living crisis, two international wars and race riots going on and these guys are like yeah but let me tell you about this guy who did the conga slightly aggressively over to the mail plus now who warned that citizens in thanet may soon be the recipients of 100 pound fines if their filthy potty sailors mouths are caught swearing in the street hang on a second well, that, that that can't be right council wants to fine voters 100 pounds for swearing in the street jesus Christ. like this this country is so weird and paradoxical and self-contradictory. Well, you can literally go out and riot and scream slurs at someone. You can spray paint P word, go home on the side of that burning hotel. And people won't just not fine you. <laughs> They'll defend you. They'll say that's the thing that we should listen to. You've got academics like Matt Goodwin and half the staff of The Telegraph and GB News going like, well, we, 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 need, to, we need to understand these people. All of that is protected. But people going like, well, oh, it's free speech. I mean, what, what is this? The Soviet Union? Is this North Korea all of a sudden? Oh, I'm sorry. What, what, what do you mean? I, I can't write disinformation and literal murder threats all over your social media. I mean, what, what country is this again? Because last time I checked, this was Britain, old son. That needs to be listened to and understood 
But me walking down the street and calling one of those people a c Well, clearly that is, that is a step too far for the lily-livered snowflake sensibilities of the average reform voter, clearly. Like, here's, here's a question for you, right? This will this will blow your mind. Just let it swirl around your brain for a second, right? Everyone's all het up about this Strictly scandal, this Strictly abuse scandal by some guy called Gio, right? Apparently, he was really abusive. He shouted, he screamed at women. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. I mean, it's bang out of order. The, the BBC should have done more. Right, okay. What, what did he actually say? Well, I, I heard of a very reliable disinformation website that he, he called his dancing partner a stupid bitch and a flat-footed c*** says. Ah, well, there, there you go. See, it's a rookie error. See, what, what he should have done is told her that he was going to round her and her family and put her on a flight to Rwanda. And then the Sun, the Express, all of them would have nominated him for an award at the bizarre 3am awards for 2024. Cheekiest bad boy TV presenter of the year. Guys, that's it for this one. Do check that you have liked and subscribed and dropped me a comment with your thoughts and feelings about this particular paper review below. I'll be recording the midweek podcast uh, tomorrow and that'll go out to Patreons and YouTube community members first. So if you're not on Patreon or the YouTube community, get into the links in the description below. But yeah, right now, right now I've got to go. So I will catch up with you fucking cunts later. Right, uh, less of that language, the £100 oh, for God. God. Yeah, I, I, sorry. <laughs> Would you look at this? Like, I've only been on, online for like, what, six or, or seven minutes and I'm, I'm letting my true colours show already.